Hi, welcome back to Carrie Kirby Creates and my inspiring quote of the day today is attract what you want by being who you want. Hope you enjoy watching today's video. For today's video, I'm going to be making a card using the beautiful stamp set that came with this um, Simply Cards and Paper Craft. Now, I don't regularly buy um, the crafting magazines. I did years ago, but uh, I do kind of keep an eye out now and again. If there's something on them that I really like, I find they're very good value. So this one came, well, it came with this embossing folder, but it's the stamps really that I purchased it for. I'm just, I'm really liking them, especially this one here, which is the one I'm going to use today. So I'm coming in with a 5x7 card base and I've cut this piece of, um, it's a watercolour card stock down to the same size basically I haven't left a border it's just more or less five by seven and I'm going to be using my distress oxides and spice marmalade crackling campfire and this isn't an oxide but it's a squeeze lemonade because it's the color combination that I wanted and I don't have an oxide in the squeeze lemonade just grabbing my blending brushes there and going to pop the crackling campfire down there. So I'm actually getting to use a fresh new brush for this because I couldn't find one with the red. I'm sure there's one there somewhere, but anyway, it's going to ink that up well. And to just use a piece of cardstock to keep my hands clean, basically. So as you can see there, the way I do it is I kind of put down the deep colour, which is what I'm looking for. Then as I blend it up, the blend gets lighter because that's where I'm going to come in with my next colour. And I'm going to start the blend, you know, over the lighter shade to blend it all together. I find that that's how I get the best result. Then I come back in. I start back on the deep colour and just work my way up a bit into the new shade. And I find you get a really good transition that way. There you go, you can see that lovely transition there between the shades. And you can come, you know, you can come in and go over it as much as you like just to get the blend the way you want it. So next I'm coming in with the squeeze lemonade and again I'm starting up here just to get that colour to transition nicely.
Okay, so I'm happy enough with that blend. Um, just giving it one quick go over with each of the shades. And you really can get that seamless blend. It takes a bit of work, a bit of effort, but it's definitely worth it. Got that lovely blend going on there. Really like it. And I'm not going to come in with any splatters of water or anything on this. I want to keep that deep colour. So the next thing I want to do is coming in with my stamping platform. And I want to pop that down. Now, I don't know whether I want to use it this way or this way. And looking at that there, I'm just going to come back in with my spice marmalade. And I just want to go over that a little bit. Now, I didn't re-ink my brush. I'm just, I'm being fussy, I guess. But look, what harm. Need something wet, I think, there. I'll have to come back in and clean that properly later, I think, with a bit of alcohol. Anyway, decisions of which way I want it to turn. I think I'm going to go this way. And I'm coming in with that beautiful stamp, the lovely sunflowers. And I want to pop that into the middle of it, leaving room underneath because I'm more than likely going to put my sentiments here. So yeah, they're beautiful sunflowers. Let's pop this down just to hold my car stock in place. And I'm coming in with my Versafine Claire in Nocturne. So we get that beautiful dark silhouette and it'll be, let's see. Let's pick that up. Now I'll probably have to give it a few goes because there's so much ink gone down on my card stuff. Oh wow. I just love those colours. I think they're gorgeous.
Yeah, I'm very, very pleased with that. I think that's stunning. So I'm just going to wipe that off. What have I done with my baby wipe? Here we go. It's going to wipe that down. And next thing I want to do is I want to come in with my sentiment. So just pop that up there. And from that same die set, I've just picked out the happy birthday stamp. Figure why not use it. I'm going to pop that down there. What is this? Just taking my time to get it in the correct place and even. Okay, does that look even? Okay, sorry about that. I've just realised that my I wasn't actually filming. So, a bit of a klutz there. But I've gone and uh, stamped off the happy birthday and I was very careful removing it from the stamping platform. I don't want to get fingerprints or anything at all on the background. I want to keep it just exactly the way it is with that beautiful blend of colours. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I can either choose, I can cut it down basically an eighth of an inch smaller and push you know, a, a layer of black behind it, but I think I'm going to come in, come in, sorry, but I think I'm going to come in with my black Sharpie and I'm going to just line the edge of it with black. I'm going to be very careful doing this. Especially when, when you remove, you'll see when it goes down. Just want it to go down nice and dark. When you're removing that ruler, kind of lift it up and each time wipe it because you don't want to transfer it onto your project. Now let's see. Also wipe your mat. I mean, it's only four, four goes, so it's not that big of a deal just making sure that that's dry now before it goes down on the ink and again just being careful to line it up to kind of lift it up before I take it away. Now, if I want to, I can use the lines, you know, on the grid to make sure that this is accurate. Which is what I should be doing, really. Because you don't want to have done all that lovely work with the blending and the stamping and then mess it up. The last hurdle. Fall at the last hurdle, I should say. And we don't want that to happen. There we go.
Now, I think that gives a beautiful frame to it. My only... The only thing I don't like is I think I did the rest of them a little bit wider than this one. Yeah, that's better. Very pleased with that. So next I'm coming back in with my card base. And I just want to pop some double-sided tape onto the back of this and I'm just making sure that that mat is clean and dry. There we go. So I'm just coming in with my double-sided tape. And I'm going to place that down. And there we go. That's my finished card. I'm very, very pleased with the way that's turned out. So I think they're beautiful stamps from, what's the name of it again? From Simply Cards and Paper Craft. And this is issue 254 in case anybody is interested. So thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already, please, I'd love if you would like and subscribe. And thank you so much. Hope you all have a great day.